What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Street, that guy who never gets beat. And today don't bring you guys is a 49 to 8 game play on the map standoff, playing some 6v6 with the post patch PDW using suppressor and stock. Now guys, what I wanted to talk about today is two commonly asked questions that I always seem to get in my inbox. Now, one is why do you do YouTube? And the second one is who inspired you to do YouTube? Now, first off, let's discuss why I do YouTube. Now, there are lots and lots of reasons why I do YouTube, but I'm just going to discuss the main reasons today in today's commentary on why I bring you guys the best Call of Duty gameplays and commentaries day in and day out. Now, if you guys didn't know, to be specific, I started YouTube on December 30th, 2011. Now, as you all know, there were a lot of commentators back then, and it was seem quite hard to get known. But now, as the community has grown bigger and bigger, there have been a lot more commentators to come along and a lot more commentators to get into this style of Call of Duty gameplay. Now, the reason why I started YouTube is because I felt like... I was different than all the other Call of Duty commentators. I felt like I had something different to offer. I had a different style of commentating and I had a different style of gameplay. And for one, I felt like I was a really good young Call of Duty player. I mean, I've been playing this game ever since I was 10 years old and I just felt like I had a lot of beast gameplay that I had to offer to people. And I felt like if I could just showcase my gameplay for the world to see then I'd get a lot of feedback and a lot of people would really enjoy it so as you all know I've been playing Black Call of Duty since Modern Warfare 2 and in that game I was virtually a noob but I've gotten so good since those times that my gameplay has just gotten really good and I felt like that I just needed to show it to someone I feel like I need to showcase it to someone for someone to see and even now if I get a gameplay on Black Ops Metal for 3 whatever game it may be I just feel like I have to showcase it because I want people to know how good of a player I can be and how good of a player that I can be in certain situations just all around just showcase my gameplay for everyone to see and just showcase my gameplay to show people that I actually am a pretty good Call of Duty player and like I said now when I get gameplays I can't resist but to upload it. I just have to it's just something about that feeling of having so many people support you that you just constantly want to upload the best gameplays that you can possibly upload now let's get into the second question who inspired you to do YouTube <laughs> man 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 when I discovered the Call of Duty scene of YouTube there were so many people that I was like man I just want to I want to be just like them but there was two people who stuck out the most to me now the first one is as you all know the man with 5,000 hands the market J now the market J was always a person that I kind of look up to in the Call of Duty community and a person that I always want to you know put his gameplay into my gameplay and try to imitate him as a Call of Duty player because he rushes non-stop and he has really good accuracy and he's just all around a good Call of Duty player so I always want to be like him in my Call of Duty style of gaming and my Call of Duty style of gameplay so now the second person who inspired me to do YouTube is of course the one the only Chris smooth <laughs> mr splash man now the reason why chris smooth inspired me to do call of duty commentaries and call of duty gameplay I always seen chris smooth as a really funny and outgoing commentator and i always seen him as a very energetic commentator and that kind of simulated over into my style of commentary i like to be very injected every very energetic and i like to be very you know funny and just bring the best gameplay i possibly can bring so the market j and chris move they basically always been those people who i kind of look up to and be those people who always wanted to imitate my gameplay within and i always wanted to be like them in my style of commentating now to everyone who's starting youtube and things like this i always had people say 
that I actually inspired them to do YouTube. I've had a few people to actually say that. And for me to be inspiring someone to do what they do is just really amazing. And the Call of Duty scene of YouTube, I mean, once you get into it, you will love it. It is really amazing because you just get to interact with so many people and you just get to conversate with so many people across YouTube. And like I said, when I discovered YouTube, I instantly said, man, I got to do this one day. And I actually want to be a person that people look up to in the community. So it just basically motivated me to upload my videos just watching this, guys. If I watched a Market J or Chris Moore video or any other Call of, Co Call of Duty commentator that I really enjoy, it just influenced me and it just made me say, hmm, I want to upload a video now. I want to be just like these guys, have brilliant commentaries, have beast gameplay just like these guys, and this is finally the time where I'm actually being able to showcase it, and I'm actually having people follow me and having people to support me. So it's just really amazing just how much YouTube can basically influence you and how much YouTube can just basically want you to do things like like I said, man, every time I see one of my favorite Call of Duty commentators gameplay or commentary, I just say, man, I got to upload one now and I got to show people what I can do with this controller in my hand, <laughs> which is beast on Call of Duty, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope that answers some of you guys' questions of who inspired me to do YouTube and what made me do YouTube and why I'm doing YouTube. So yeah guys, those are basically the reasons just to showcase my gameplay, just to show people how good of a player I can be, and also the people who inspire me, of course, Mark J and Chris Smooth. Those are just brilliant guys, and I can always simulate my gameplay and things over to them. So if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, rate, subscribe, and it's me, Boy Street. Peace, and I'm out.